The Google Network Fellowship is a program where we match Google employees with nonprofits for up to six months of full-time work, all pro bono, to help those organizations advance their mission. One of my favorite things about the Google.org Fellowship is the actual journey that happens. You know, six months is a long time, but it's a short time. But over the course of that, there's amazing transformation that happens when Google employees bring their skills into a new context, when nonprofits learn, oh, hey, this is one new approach that we can learn from tech. There's a sweet spot of magic that happens when, when both worlds come together to advance something together. And really that journey is best spoken to by those that are participating themselves. Being African-American and from the greater Detroit, Michigan area, I watched the COVID-19 pandemic unfold in my very own backyard. Detroit quickly became an epicenter, disproportionately targeting my community. I was left feeling extremely helpless as I watched close friends fight this virus and lose family members simultaneously. It felt a bit unfair. How could I work for such a powerful company by day and be consoling my friends by night? On top of this really weird dynamic, the biggest question remained, why is my community being impacted so disproportionately? Where is the data and the information that will help combat these disparities that exist? When I found out that Google is allocating resources towards fighting this issue, I knew I had to be a part of the solution. And that is why I joined this fellowship. My role in the team is a product marketing manager. What this means is that I oversee the marketing and communication efforts for this fellowship. I develop out the overall marketing strategy based on the marketing needs from Satra Health Leadership Institute. I work cross-functionally with the wider team to execute on these initiatives. Um, my role on the team is product manager. Uh, I make decisions about what we're building uh, and I help to keep the team focused on the core goal of this project, which is policy change. Uh, I listen to the stakeholders for this project, the Morehouse and Satcher Health Leadership Institute uh, coworkers. Um, and I also uh, look at other tools out on the market uh, that are focused on uh, expressing health uh, inequities in America to uh, compare them to what we're planning on building and making sure that we are not uh, duplicating too much effort and that we're adding something fresh and new uh, to the health equity policy landscape. I manage the software engineers on our fellowship teams and they're coming from this world where the software they write is one or two steps removed from the human outcomes and impact uh, of their work. And they're coming to this fellowship program where the code we write very directly affects people's lives. And it's our responsibility to really understand that connection between the work we do and the, the people who are affected by it and include them in all steps of the process so that we know that what we're building together is what they need. My typical day varies a lot, uh, you know, day to day, because I have to work in translating, you know, what the research is saying into designs and making those designs uh, feasible so that engineers can build them. A lot of my day is just talking to all the different groups of people and making sure, you know, that we're all on the same page. You know, why are we building what we're building? How are we going to build it? And, you know, what are we building? We're working really closely with the product teams, the designing teams, the user research teams. Um, and we're building a lot of prototypes kind of on the fly really quickly, um, which has been a fun change for me because a lot of the processes on my normal job in Google search are a lot slower. So it's been a lot of fun to have such a fast velocity with this team that's just really constantly in communication, um, really cross-functionally between um, all the different uh, product areas that we're working on. So that's been a lot of fun. I would say my favorite part of the fellowship is working with a team that's very uh, socially aware of kind of what's going on um, and have a genuine interest in uh, doing something about the situation. Um, and it's, it's, I think it's very uh, unique that we all come from different backgrounds, uh, different perspectives, but we're all aligned to a similar goal. Um, and that's like health equity. And so uh, that's kind of my favorite part is just interacting with this team, uh, working with people with different skill sets, with different abilities, learning from each other. Uh, all for like a, a greater purpose. 
Uh, but something that this uh, fellowship has really impressed upon me is just how glaring and uh, obvious some of these uh, disparities can be. I have been blown away by how normal it is to see in county after county, um, Black people, uh, Native Hawaiians and Pacific Islander people, uh, Latinx people, um, uh, Native American people, um, and, and so many minorities being affected at rates two times, three times, four times higher than their percentage of the population. Um, it's just it, it's just amazing to me to see uh, how much work there is left to do and just a real eye opener. Um, and uh, I don't mean that as a, as a depressing statement. You know, uh, obviously, it's 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 sad. It's a sad state of affairs. Um, but I find it as I, I view it as a challenge uh, as a member of one of those uh, marginalized groups. Um, I view it as a personal challenge uh, to use the, the privilege that I have to uh, improve the experience for all people um, in America uh, and uh, to start to break down and make a dent in this intractable problem. I think hopefully something that we've helped the Satcher team realize is this vision of being able to proactively say, these are the problems and here are the solutions. And we know these things to be true, not just from our experiences, but also from this data and this research that has now been enabled to shine a light on all these problems that have long existed in our society, but haven't always been able to, to be addressed.